interestingly enough, these two peptides are very good at a modulating immune function. They're considered immunomodulators. And that, why that's interesting is that when you have an infection and when your immune system is in hyperdrive and you have a lot of inflammation, so if you're fighting a viral infection or bacterial infection and there's a lot of inflammation going on, your brain will become inflamed as well in response to what's going on in the rest of your body. And when that happens, when you have inflammation in the brain, that is what can trigger these different mood disorders, depression, anxiety, and so forth. And so the fact that these peptides not only have anti-anxiety effects or anti-depressive effects, but they also help to modulate the immune system and have anti-inflammatory effects on the brain. So if you have something called neuroinflammation, which there's gonna be more and more data coming out on this concept of neuroinflammation, these peptides help to lower that and help to keep the body in a state of homeostasis or balance. And so those are two of my favorites for helping to treat anxiety, depression, and other mood disorders and helping to increase circulation to the brain and offset some of the effects of post-traumatic stress disorder and Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and a mild cognitive decline. They also have this beneficial side effect of improving focus. So they're really, they're lovely peptides. Uh, they are, like I said, naturally occurring in the body. And so I like their safety profile and they're highly effective.